Well, if you thought the extreme cold would kill off a lot of bugs come spring, you might not like what happens next. It turns out many insects like fleas and ticks are unaffected by this extreme cold. First News reporter Alexis Walters joins us live now in the newsroom with how those bugs make it through the winter to trouble us just once spring comes. Alexis. Good morning, guys. Well, come to find out there really is no longer a flea and tick season. The Mahoning County Extension educator told me it's because they're seeing these year round because there have become so many types of fleas and ticks. Now, unfortunately, many that do live here in the winter, they can adapt to survive. Two ways they do that living on other animals or going into a state of hibernation where they lower their metabolic rate and live off of fat reserves. Ones that don't attach to animals, they can die, but not enough that we can call the months ahead a mild year for fleas and ticks. Some of the insects actually create like an antifreeze. It's an alcohol um, they can create in their system, and then that lowers their freezing temperature. The secret for insects is keeping their cells from bursting from freezing temperatures. Oh, wow. Yeah. Our best hope for dropping number of fleas and ticks that comes in spring. If they emerge from hibernation too early and exposed to temperature drops, it makes it hard for them to survive. Or if a late frost or freeze burns back budding plants, it kills their energy source. So we've got a couple months before the weather can hopefully start to work in our favor and kill back some of those insects. For now, live in the newsroom, Alexis Walters, First News This Morning.